Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin yeah, has recovered a little bit after the dip here a um, couple of days ago is back to 46.5k. Together with that, we can see that the market is in the green as well, um, especially Solana did well in the last few days. Um, yeah, pretty much most cryptos did really well. Near Protocol I'm really pleased about because we talked about the Near Protocol extensively also in the member live streams, talked about it as probably one of the um, high potential cryptos for 2022 a few times now and that is developing very very nicely um, with 17 percent but generally the whole market is is up um, even XC after that dip that we had a few days ago phantom doing well so yeah you can see it as always when bitcoin recovers a little bit moves sideways a little bit you can see the altcoins just pumping and um, that that is uh, good to see that we see a little bit of green in the portfolio especially given the situation that most of the altcoins that I actually cover did reach their target areas, their individual target areas on the way down so that they were ready to turn around and it seems like we see this effect now. Now it's a bit too early as I said to really confirm that the low is already in but they basically do what they are supposed to be doing which is fantastic. Bitcoin, Bitcoin 46.6k in this current channel still that some people call a bear flag and to be honest it looks a little bit like that yeah a giant bear flag coming down here um, so we've got we've got this sort of flagpole this um, yeah the actual flag and that could if this really just purely looking at a pattern from a pattern point of view this could really um, lead to a further sell-off now from my point of view I'm more looking into the Elliott waves <clears throat> and from my point of view the current scenario, the main scenario I'm currently looking at after we broke above 45.8k, that was the important level. Um, and Bitcoin has fallen below that again, but that is not too much of a problem short term. Um, the scenario has been unlocked that we move up here in this ABC. So you come down your wave A, that is complete. We're moving up in a wave B <clears throat> into the region here between 55 and 65k ideally before you come down again so my view is that we have not seen the low yet for bitcoin a few reasons for that first of all structurally what we see here it does not look um, very impulsive so it does not indicate that bitcoin has made a low typically what we see with bitcoin when it comes down in such a high level correction we see something like a significant low now this does not at all here look like a significant low from where we really start this was a bit or looks very corrective still yeah all of this here the other reason is that we have um yeah i mean there are a few ways of how you can call this a low but from an elliott wave point of view as well but all of them super unlikely especially in such a high level wave count high level pattern in my opinion all of this here what we see here this correction down is a wave two and um, in a wave two that bitcoin doesn't make a lower low compared to the previous low compared to the wave a is just so unlikely i would i would be really surprised if the low here is already in but as i said in previous videos we want to be prepared for both scenarios my strategy is therefore not just to blindly assume we're coming down and um, yeah i dollar cost averaged into bitcoin below 40k did mention that a few times and with the altcoins pumping more that is even more profitable so all of these buy orders were triggered of course not all of them there are always a few buy orders that are set lower um, but maybe they will be triggered or pretty sure they will be triggered when we come down lower um, so this is still the primary expectation but first up then down is now the route that i would see this price go and so far with the correction down that we saw here a few days ago after we saw that hanging man pattern on the daily so that candle here that potential reversal candle that we talked about also called a hammer pattern we saw a correction down now that was a retest at the moment it looks like only a retest of the 44 and a half K level or 45 and a half K level just need to be a bit careful because all we did at the moment is just another lower high okay Bitcoin now needs to push higher to really fulfill that scenario and needs to get to the 200 day moving average again which is currently at 48.3 K then needs to push higher than that and only if we break above that level that would also allow Bitcoin to move above that ascending trend line of that channel and it would break out to the upside and then can continue its route to the next resistance which would be at 51k that is the 50% FIP level and um, the, at 55k we see the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level and that would also be 
a very, very important level and I think a very likely level for Bitcoin to reach, given that it is the most important Fibonacci retracement level. Looking here in the short term, can you call it a bull flag? Well, not really in my opinion. Um, the, the problem with that is that we are actually coming from, uh, that we dropped first, now we're coming up. And um, however, what we can identify here is a, um, a triangle. Yeah, so you can call it probably a, maybe a trend continuation pattern. Yeah, so we've got a triangle here. So you can expect here a move in the next, probably next hour or next couple of hours, similar to what we did here. That was another triangle. So we broke to the upside. Can we broke to the upside again? Probably yes, of course, but we don't know until we see the breakout. What makes me a little bit, um, well, skeptical is that, well, I was, okay, it's not a bearish divergence, but we make a higher high on the, on the price chart, but we're not making a higher high on the RSI. It's not really a true bearish divergence because then you would need to see a lower high on the RSI. So no reason to worry about it yet. When you enter such a triangle and when you are squeezed into such a, a triangle, you see the volume decline. There is nearly any volume at the moment. I mean, it is, it is Saturday. There is usually less volume on the weekend anyway, but we need volume to really break out here and move higher. So watch out for that volume. Um, and really, ideally, we need Bitcoin to, to break above that 200 day moving average. That's what I'm looking out for to the upside. That is the very important resistance. And um, also what you can see here, we can identify a new trend line depending on how you draw it. But if you draw it like that, we are pretty much here now at a point where Bitcoin needs to decide again, where is it heading? Um, and to be honest, on the four hour chart, it doesn't look too bad because we can see the, oh, did I just delete the MACD? Let me just add the MACD again here to the, um, to the chart. So we can see on the four hour chart, the, let me just move that, the MACD. <clears throat> the MACD is going to do a bullish crossover. Oh, that was the MACD. So no, I'll de delete that after this video. So we can see the MACD here on the four hour is going to do a bullish crossover if it's going to continue like that. And that would help Bitcoin, I guess, in the first instance to get to that 48k level, but it really needs to break it as well. Yeah. So we see some upside on the four hour chart. We also see some upside again on the eight hour chart after that bearish crossover that already told us a dip would be coming. That did play out. And now you can see that it's negative momentum is decreasing again on the eight hour chart. Now on the daily, we still see negative momentum coming in, but if it turns around on the eight hour, maybe we can avoid this bearish crossover here on the daily. This is now, I think, where it's going to be decided for the next move of Bitcoin. Are we going to see a bearish crossover on the daily or can the eight hour and the four hour chart um, yeah, stop that? So, so far, as you can see here, we just stopped exactly at 45 and a half K. Yeah, we dropped temporarily, but the daily candle closed above that level. So at the moment, we can assume it was only a retest. Yeah. And as long as we stay above 42.7K, I would stay in this scenario. If we drop below that, then we can assume more likely than not that we're going to go down again. You know, that is my opinion here. But especially, especially, I think the confirmation for that would be when we break out of that channel here to the downside. That would be at 39, roughly at 39K, a little bit lower than that maybe. Yeah, That would be the real confirmation, in my opinion, that we are going to go down straight away into that target area here between 20 and 29K, then we have to reactivate that previous scenario that talked about um, the sell off straight away, even though it actually can't be that scenario anymore after the break above 45.8K. Had a few questions about, um, do I keep my position because I did buy a long position after Bitcoin broke that 48 point, uh, that 45.8K level? Yes, absolutely, I'm holding that. I'm gonna, gonna continue to hold it because my primary scenario is that we are marching higher from here and then I would start to take profits at around 55K. Now that's my view here on Bitcoin at the moment. I'll keep you updated, definitely. Uh, could become an interesting weekend, yeah, but bear in mind we are still in that, in that channel. So I think here the next few days, maybe even here the weekend will decide where Bitcoin is gonna head next because just we are below this very important resistance level and if we break the 48 point, uh, yeah, let's say the 48K level, that 200 day moving average, then I'm pretty sure that scenario here will be fulfilled because the minimum requirement for this current scenario that you have on the screen here 
is that we need to reach 51k yeah so that is the minimum requirement that is what we need to reach at a minimum in this scenario and i would class this as fulfilled when we reach it um, of course it then needs to at some point turn around as well good that's my view here on bitcoin at the moment hopefully hopefully you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye